I'm Gabi Kalea, I'm the coordinator of the Malta Gay Rights Movement and an educator by profession. My name is Paul Caruana Turner and I'm studying law at the University of Malta. Hi, my name is Neil and I'm a lawyer. My name is Rodrik and I'm a lecturer. Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm a student at Epcast. My name is Kenneth Sami Tavona. I am an artist, an illustrator and a columnist and a general culture vulture. My name is David and I am a student. My name is Sonia and I'm a senior lecturer. My name is Elaine and I'm a service delivery manager. I'm Cynthia and I'm a student at MCAST Art and Design. My name is Mina and I'm a student. Yeah, my name is Louisa and I'm also a student. Yeah. And we're twins. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Colette Farage Bennett and I'm a social. I'm 43 years old and I came out when I was 32. I'm 27 years old and I came out at the age of 21. I'm 36 years old and I came out when I was 32. And I'm almost 38 and I came out when I was 27. I'm 20 and I came out at 17. I'm 56 years old and I came out when I was 40. I am 22 and I came out when I was 16. We are both 35 years old. I came out at 17. I came out at 18. I'm 21 and I came out when I was 18. I'm 21 and I first came out when I was 17. I'm also 21 but I came out when I was 19. I am 31 years old and I came out when I was 17. I felt that I was different uh, for a long time, but uh, I only figured out I was gay when I was in my 30s. It was almost a relief to finally put a name to what I was. It wasn't that I was a freak or unlovable, I was just gay. Um, being different, I know, can be lonely sometimes, and there were times when I just wanted to give up. I guess when I look back, I wondered how I, I didn't realize sooner, but when I was young, uh, there weren't any LGBT role models that I knew of, and the possibility of being gay just never crossed my mind. Although I feared being rejected by my family and my friends, the hardest part was accepting it for myself. As a teenager, I used to smoke a lot on my own bedroom balcony, constantly asking the questions, is this it? Is this life? Is this going to remain the same as it is, always alone? Always afraid that my parents and friends would get to know? And how could God do this to me? Why would God want me to be so alone? Always, always alone. I remember I felt pretty much lonely, um, bullied at times, and confused emotionally and also psychologically. I remember wanting to go, and go, to go out with girls but never really managing to, uh, to fall in love. But worst of all, I actually forced myself, I bullied myself to fit the straight jacket. I remember telling myself when I was about 12 that I might be gay and I didn't want to believe it and at first I rejected the idea completely. I went to an all boys school and gay was something that people would describe the things they didn't like and I didn't want to be that, so I decided to be someone else. I didn't have any challenges as such. I had relationships with the girls, but when things started to get physical I realized there was no attraction there, that I was just with them because it was what was expected of me. So I thought, I don't like girls, I like boys. I put two and two together and I realized it was fairly straightforward what I am. I'm not, I was lucky. Some people have it much harder than this. When I was young, I lost a lot of friends when they found out I was gay. Um, it, was, it was very painful and I quickly got the message that I could not really be who I am. At sixth form and university, very often I felt I was leading a double life. My biggest fear was that people would reject me if I told them that I was gay. I always had a suspicion I was gay, even when I was quite young but I didn't really pay attention to my sexuality till I turned uh, 17. Throughout my school days, I was mocked for being a tomboy. I became really conscious of myself and I suppressed my feelings and it was only in sixth form that I really started to question my sexuality. I guess uh, a lot of internalized homophobia. It wasn't, it wasn't anyone outside of me that was 
limiting me from coming out, but it was myself and my fears of, of being gay. The main problem I faced was that I didn't have any role models, uh, particularly female role models, so there were a lot of male role models who were positive role models, but not many female ones. Uh, and the second one was that I trusted the wrong people when I was 15, so that made me uh, have a really difficult coming out experience. It was difficult to come out because I thought that I was going to be alone and I thought that my family will reject me. Also my friends, I was afraid to lose them. However, coming out was just a positive experience after all. Coming out was hard. Just saying the words was terrifying. Um, I remember I wanted to call a helpline and it took me about 30 minutes just to find the courage to dial the number. The first bar I went to, I must have walked past it three times before I actually found the courage to go in. Um, I guess I was lucky though. Uh, the first person I, I told reacted positively and, and so did all my friends uh, really and eventually I came out to, to my boss and eventually as an activist on national TV. I didn't encounter many problems when I was young. The biggest problem that there was was that people used to use gay as a derogatory term so that when I began to realize what I was, it made me feel like there was something wrong with me. I was 32 when I came out to my family. It's like you spend all of your life squeezed really tight in someone else's hand, squashed, small, very, very small. And all of a sudden the hand starts opening and your body creaks as you yawn and wake up. And finally you see the world around you and everyone in it. It's a very difficult waking up process, but now looking back I say, if only I had done it earlier, I wouldn't have wasted, wasted so many years of my life. It was a deeply profound, intimate, incredible experience for me. I remember one night, finally, after deciding and embracing who I was, I was looking at myself in the mirror, I was actually being, I was able to, to say, Ro, you are gay, and it's okay. But I was actually crying with joy. I came out right before my 18th birthday, and I honestly thought it would be the most pivotal point in my life. I mean, before that, my whole plan was to keep it all a secret and hope nobody notices. Eventually though, after a long period of never being satisfied with myself, I decided to tell people who I really was. And my expectations were so wrong. I thought I would lose the people I love when, in fact, I ended up meeting more and more new people. Uh, being a columnist, in fact, gives me an airing, uh, a place to express my views on a lot of, a lot of issues. And, of course, I, it took a little bit of courage at the beginning to express myself openly about gay issues and that necessitated a sort of like a second coming out. I was very, it was very simple for me to come out. Um, everyone accepted me for who I was and I was very lucky with that regard. The hardest part was what's going on, going on inside my head. The constant fear that when you tell someone that you're gay they'll turn against you. Um, I was lucky that everyone seemed to accept me for who I am. I think my mother took it the worst and probably because she's a very religious person. When I told her it was the first time I saw her cry and it made me feel very guilty because my mother is really not an emotional person. It wasn't easy. At first I had to accept myself. Every time I plucked up the courage to tell someone, it was like a weight lifting off my shoulder. It took some time until my parents realized it was not just a phase. When I told my friends and family, they weren't shocked at all. They had been expecting it for quite some time. It seems everyone knew but me. <laughs> I spent more time worrying about telling the people close to me than actually saying, oh, I'm gay. I mean, coming out took forever uh, because I was challenging, uh, trying to understand how my sexuality uh, went together with my spirituality. Uh, and the longest it took was to tell my family, to tell my mom, and eventually to tell my twin sister, Mina. Uh, but it was fine. I was actually quite lucky because Louisa paved the way for me. So when she was out to our family, then, well, another one. No big deal, right? 
so that helped a lot and in a way she was my role model so I could see what she had done and say it's okay. At school it was difficult because I was most often picked on uh, but I also found that during the process I found my friends, my real friends, those who were really my friends and who were going to support me throughout the process. Once you accept it for yourself, you begin to see that other people accept you too. We both have very normal jobs now. Our family, friends and colleagues, they all know who we are and they're not pretty bothered with what we are, who we've dated, who we've loved, who we've kissed. They're not quite bothered, in fact. Um, in fact, now we're married. Um, they tell you it's not possible. They tell you that marriage, love, parenting is just for a man and a woman. It's not allowed for us to do these things. Well, it's actually rubbish. Um, you have a heart, um, and your heart is there to love and to be loved. Whoever you choose, or ultimately whoever chooses you. So with personal acceptance, finally, I plucked up the courage, and I started sharing all this with, uh, first with my siblings, then my mother, and then also with friends. But I felt stronger, much stronger also, because now I was receiving actually support from people to me. Uh, at some point I plucked up so much courage that I decided to change my life completely. I left the, the religious order I was in, I found a new job and uh, today I must say I feel much more at ease, more at rest and after a number of dates finally I met someone who fulfills me and compliments me. My husband now. <laughs> it feels weird to say this now but coming out has changed a lot about me. I mean, it makes me cringe every time I think how shy I used to be and how I never used to express myself and how I never really got close to anyone. Coming out has helped me break down so many barriers that I myself put up. Eventually you're going to meet people who will love you and accept you for who you are. If I came out during secondary school, I know I would have faced a really hard time, but I came out during sixth form. My friends were very accepting and they gave me the courage to come out to my parents. If someone ever said anything against me, they would stick up for me. Now Elaine and I are accepted by both our families and I have all that I ever wanted, a happy and a normal life. All the struggles that I went through made me the person that I am, the strong person that I am. The important thing is to be honest with oneself. I feel lucky that I'm surrounded by family and friends who are there for us. I didn't think it could get better, but it did. I learned to ignore what people think of me and focus on what makes me happy. The loving support and encouragement I have gotten from the people around me has made me stronger and prouder of myself and my identity. And that's something no one can ever take away from me. Well, you still face challenges every day, sometimes. But you learn to surround yourself by people who love you and accept you for who you are. You, have, you end up with a great group of friends who support you and yeah, I guess that's the best thing you can do. It gets better when you learn who you are and you know who you are uh, and knowing that and then feeling free enough to express that that's that's exactly the moment when it gets better it got better because my family was okay about it after some time and i had the support of my friends and my sister who was very very supportive so it really does get better i was already an adult when i came out it was like finding the missing piece of a puzzle since then I've had the privilege of supporting other people through their coming out. Some had to face a lot more opposition than I ever did. I'm glad I could be there for them. However hard it may seem at times, don't give up. There are people here to support you. You are not alone. And you will find that there is no shame in being lesbian, gay, bi or trans. Every day there are people who are working to make sure that things change. It gets better. Don't worry. It gets better. 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 It gets better.